on the Modern Defender. We're going to talk about the difference between martial arts and self-defense. In particular, the bow staff. It's one thing to be able to spin this bow around, throw it up, bring it around your head, throw it way up in the air, and strike with it. But transitioning from this into something like this. Stick around. Have you ever been on a trail, maybe you're familiar with it, or maybe you're unfamiliar with it, and the thought crosses your mind, what will I do in the event of a violent encounter? Well, today on The Modern Defender, we're going to teach you how to use a walking stick as a very effective self-defense tool. So whether you're a casual hiker or someone who finds themselves outside often, you're going to want to choose a really good walking stick. One that comes to about mid-chest level and can strike objects without breaking, okay? Something that's gonna get you, give you the ability to kind of traverse the difficult areas and have the ability to use in the event of a self-defense situation. A good walking stick out in an area like this is one of your most important self-defense tools. Why? Because it's in your hands at all times. And having the ability to quickly strike and move with it is something that you're gonna have to work on but we're going to step into the dojo and we're going to show you guys some basic strikes and how you can use this in self-defense situations. Stick around. So now that we're back in the dojo, we're going to talk about the three basic strikes. Now when I say basic strikes, I'm kind of ignoring and we're just going to skip over the baseball bat swing, okay? So I'm pretty sure that one's self-explanatory. But for a self-defense situation, we're going to talk about the three basic strikes that you would want to use a walking stick with. First of all, from a martial arts standpoint, a martial arts grip would be more of a centered grip. Um, we, want, we don't want to do that for a self-defense situation. We actually want to bring our hands down. I'm right-handed, my left hand's going to be on the bottom. If you are left-handed, your right hand would be on the bottom. But the first of the three basic strikes is going to be like a jab, okay? So we're just going to strike out, and it's not just pushing my left hand forward, it's pulling back my right hand as well. This is a quick strike. I would use this as a setup strike down low to the body, which would be nice to set up strike number two, which is going to come right back across, bam, okay, just like that. So again, strike one's kind of like a jab, it's a push and a turn of your body and it's a pull back with your right, extend the left, turn your body, pull back with the right. The second one, strike number two, is just the opposite. We're going to extend our right, pull back with our left and turn our body. And because we have an offset grip, there's more distance here on the right side, which is going to give us a little bit more coverage and a little bit more distance. So using a combination like this, maybe the first strike to get their hands to drop, the second strike to move to the outside, off the line, off the X, whatever you want to call it, and get yourself to a position where now you can strike number three which is going to come over our heads and under our arms. This one's going to take a little bit of practice. You want to bring it over your head, under your arm, and turn your body out. That, that one is probably one of the more powerful strikes out of all three of them. So we get the setup strike down below, the extension of the right hand, the pull back, I'm sorry, the extension of the left, the pull back with the right. Strike number two, the extension of the right, the pull back with the left. In strike number three, you're going to bring it over your head and turn your body across. Now let's see how this is going to work on a human target. So now we're going to try that combination, that three strike combo on a human target, okay? Number one, um, you've got to rem remember about your reactionary gap. You don't want somebody too close because then all your skills are out the window. We want to keep them at a distance. You're going to start with the bow or the walking stick in your hand that quick strike to the body, a second, now though, his hands are gonna drop. So now, his head is open like a window. To the side of the head, strike number two, now strike number three, across the throat. Either way, I've moved to the outside, I get off the line, this guy can't hurt me anymore, now I can access my other tools, or just get the hell out of there if I need to. Let's go over that one more time. Again, quick extension, strike one, strike two, strike three, and again, a little faster, one, two, three, and then get the heck out of there. 
Again, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. We'll see you next time on The Modern Defender. Have a great day. Stay safe out there.